Hello folks and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. I'm your host, the Gamer Darius. So, as we left off, we defeated the Knight Artorius, also known as the Abyss Walker, and crafted his Abyss Greatsword. It's a right awesome piece of weaponry, but unfortunately I'm not able to wield it all too greatly. So, I don't know, maybe I'll go ahead and level myself up to the point where I can because Honestly, I, I just I just can't resist being able to go like, well, that really cool spinning attack and then this really cool spinning attack. What up? Yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and put back on my Moonlight Greatsword because that's my other favorite weapon so far of the game. Well, of any Souls game, really. And I'm going to point out that I am a complete and total non-observant idiot. Because this is the way I have to go. Also, these guys are assholes. But I can easily two-hand them to death. So, I got that going for me. I just need to be careful because uh, you see my damage there that I've done? That's a... Whoa. Whoa! Ow! Up, up, up. Okay. That's new. That's really new. Holy crap. You hurt, sir. Ma'am. Ma'am? He's wearing a robe, but... Kind of a dressy-looking thing, but unfortunately, I I'm just gonna say dude. My staple is calling people dude. Dude is kind of, you know... What is this? That's weird. Is that an illusion? What is that? You guys see that, right? The little... That's totally a sign. Ugh, whatever. Alright, so I just need to be careful around here because... These guys kind of hit hard. But at the same time, I know that I can slay them with only a single hit while it's two hinting. Oh, it's this guy who is all douchey. Derp. Haha, <laughs> nice try, sir. Alright, so... I don't know what kind of magic that, that dude was wielding. Ah, so much for going back the way I came. Hmm... Let's go around this way a little bit more. Oh, Crystal Lizard! I'm not going to be able to get that Crystal Lizard. It's going to be difficult. Uh... You missed! Okay. What is that banging? I swear, that's not out of the game, too. That's... Whoa, hi! Why do these spellcasters constantly respawn? I know I ask that a lot of all the different things that I encounter in this Ow, there's two of them. There's two of them. That's two of them. There's two of them. Ha ha! One down. Ow, my face! My face! Whew! Okay. That was not so fun. Okay, had to make sure. Stark Souls is the kind of game that makes you go, um, that couldn't possibly be, and it is, some sort of trap or something. One second, that was a spell. I got a spell. I can't look at my spells, can I? No, I can't, okay. That one was Dark Orb. There it is. It's magic, go figure. Uh, let's see. Abyss magic discovered by an Ulysseal sor sorcerer on the brink of madness. Fire giant dark orb. Um, in contrast to standard soul sorceries, abyss sorcerers sorceries are weighty and inflict physical damage. Oh, that's neat. 
Perhaps human souls, because of their humanity, produce sorceries with more tangible presence. So instead of doing fire damage, it does does straight up physical damage. That's neat. This path, on the other hand, not so neat. Oh, looks like it came all that way for a little bit of magic that I probably am never going to use. So... Da dun da dun. Boom! <laughs> oh! Okay, that was intentional. So, what I just picked up is possibly one of the best, one of the weirdest joke items in the game. They're carvings. Uh, you can constantly use them, but when you toss them down, I'm sorry. they say that sort of stuff and it pretty much just says whatever the carving has on it so you got I'm sorry and I don't know a bunch of different carvings I don't typically use them while well it's you know at all mostly because they're used in PvP to mock people like I had this one person in Dark Souls 2 that invaded me while I was in the uh, let's see Iron Kings lava E area I forget the name of it but what had happened is that he, I think it was, I want to say that he was a cheater, but then again, I suck at PvP, so I don't know. And he had constantly backstabbed me, always parried, backstabbed, whatever. He always did critical kill damage, and of course, he won. And right afterwards, he would toss down the arm sorry, which of course, rightly pissed me off. I mean, I thought of it as a joke, like, ha ha, his name, his character's name was I'm sorry, and, you know, he's saying sorry, so, you know, whatever. Until he invaded me the second time, and the third, and the fourth. I could not play online that night at all, because that guy was doing nothing but invading me. Seriously, it's, it's reasons like that why I don't enjoy PvP, because... You know, you get the people that are in it for jolly fun, like, haha, ha, let's have a little bit of competition, see who's better at this game, who's better at, you know, kicking the other person's ass. And then you got people that are just trolls. Like, I don't enjoy trolls. I don't like trolls whatsoever. I'm just saying that, I can already feel like 50 billion trolls staring at me like, yes. Like they're going to find my character in-game and constantly berate him or do the same thing as that jackass. Where do I go? Imminent Sorrow. Yeah, that was the guy I killed. That was the little parapet that I don't need to go on to, I hope. I say parapet, but I don't know what it is. I've just been rambling because I'm a little lost. Again. Okay. This place sucks. If not just because of the freaking magical casters and their stupid dark magic. Stupid dark magic. And it's definitely because of how mazy this place is. Okay. By the looks of it, I do have to go this way. I just don't think I can make that ro make that jump with only a roll, so... <sighs> Here's the 55,000 souls! Okay, I guess I wasn't that bad. Let's try up first. I'm going to regret going up first, aren't I? Hello? Are people just falling everywhere? Oh, I can't see the chain. Which way does that curve? Let's try this way first. Here's a mimic. Ooh. 
that is why you always test your mimics. Very good. Mm, yes, that was a worthwhile adventure. I say it was a worthwhile adventure, I mean it meant nothing to me. Uh, is this the way it came? Because I killed that guy. This is. This is the way. Ah, oh, god damn it. I don't remember this being a path, though. One second, fellows. And I'm back. Alright. So this is where that mimic was. Screw that mimic. So do I just go down this way? Yep. Okay. Kind of figuring that this was the path I needed to go. I say, after having completely derped on which way I actually needed to go for a while. Okay. I am not fighting you on that narrow-ass pathway, sir. It's kind of cool. I actually looked up a lot of... Uh, whoop, a lot of the lore of Dark Souls. Mostly the people that I've already fought. Like, there was the Knight Tarkus, uh, who was also undead and whatnot, and fought a bunch of the enemies of the King, or Lord, what's his face? Gwyn. Yes, that's it. And in an effort to try to become the one to completely and totally. Of course. Of course it was rubbish, and of course it was a trap. trap that failed. But yeah, the Knight Tarkus, which I could have actually summoned in that fight against the Iron Giant, which actually would have been kind of helpful, but then again, he kind of died pretty quickly after I figured out what to actually do. Anyways, like the Knight Tarkus himself was a pretty cool dude, because no one, and I mean no one else, of King Lord Gwyn's knights was actually able to successfully get through the... Can I, can I jump down? No? Ah, damn it, there's a lot of them. Oh god, it's got homing too. Okay. I gotta kill that thing first. Pretty much. Huh? No. This is not going to go well. Nope. Wow. That's just a giant level of ass. Okay. Well, at least I have a general knowledge of where I need to go. And I was pretty much trying to tell the lore of... I had not rested at this bonfire yet, so I had not uh, come back here when I had died. Hmm. Hope that doesn't affect my souls. I like my souls. All near a whole level of them. Anyways, I was saying stuff. The stuff I was saying was kind of relevant to the game. Anyways. What was I saying? Ah, yes. Uh, the fact was that Tarkus was the mightiest of the knights and was able to get through Sin's fortress, which was the pa which was the only pathway to uh, the city of the gods in Orlando. Problem was, once he got through in Orlando, and he had found his way to it, and he found that the way was completely and totally blocked. Ow. He was unable to proceed because he fell to his death on those rafters, but he did manage to make the pathway for the actual Chosen Undead, which is supposedly, at this point, me. So, I got that going for me. I'm the only actual Chosen Undead. Yay! Oh, what do you got? Bloated head. Why does that sound like it's not a thing I want to wear? 
the head of an Ulysseal resident whose humanity went wild after being devoured by the Dark of Manus, father of the Abyss. That does not sound pleasant. The bloated head is fissured, the cracks lined with innumerable tiny red eyeballs, with a heart outside and a mucus filled inside no sane person would ever wear it. Well, I'm just one of those sane people that will not wear it, so yeah. Because that sounds icky. That's right. Come up here. I'm not going down there. Get your butt up here so I can kill you. That's a good crazed undead. That's... Seriously, that's what the dark does to your head? I don't know. I'm just kind of reminded of uh, Bloodborne by that. Be all like, ooh. In order to be able to become part of the dark, you gotta have eyes on the inside or whatever the hell that really freaky thing was. Eyes on the inside. That just sounds nasty. Except these guys got them out on the outside. Which is all fine and dandy for them, but I, I think I prefer mine on the inside. Think, or I prefer my eyes just where they are. Thank you. Oh man, I still have a ways to go, don't I? I gotta go down there, through that building, whatever treacherous things that are there, and then possibly through that gateway. Now, if I could survive the fall, I would totally just jump. Like, I could survive with only, like, a sliver of health, and I'd be satisfied. Yep, and this is where I was ambushed. Come on. I know there's a second one of you. Because I was over here. There were totally two douchebags that jumped out and tried to kill me. See? Totally two douchebags that totally tried to jump out and kill me. I suppose this way... Hmm. <clears throat> I feel my voice starting to crack. I haven't even been playing that long. Well, relatively, anyways. Yep. There all the ugly things are. Time to cheese it. Well. What's the matter, ugly? Can't take an arrow in the arm? Or a sword to the face. Wow, that guy actually gave me a fair amount of souls. Maybe it's a wonder that they made this area be itch to handle. Stop, stop that. Stop moving side to side. Thank you. Yes, I am totally cheesing it by having them come to me one at a time. Would you want a bunch of ravenous, dark sorcerers that had been inflicted with darkness yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so cheesing it but at the same time this is so worth it and hey it looks like by the time that I get the frick out of here and find myself another bonfire I'll be able to actually level up. Now the question is what do I want to level up? Because I'm already able to use my Moonlight Greatsword and I kinda did already say that I would probably use it for the rest of the game. But at the same time the Abyss Greatsword it's the Abyss Greatsword so awesome. Just all the bodies everywhere. Starting to sound like a freaking corn song. Hey, what you? Thank you. I like it when you actually target the person I want you to target. Cheesing. Gonna cheese you bastards all out. 
You know, I should feel bad for this, but then again, there's also this guy that says right here, try luring it out. And really, by the time I'm done with these jack and apes is really the only thing I gotta worry about is the casters. Wherever the heck those guys went. Because I know there was one over there. And I know that there was one down here. As well as a regular old infested, inflicted... What are those called? What do I call them? Because they're all, they're still undead. Kind of like the Dreglings were. That's a pretty interesting scream in here. Alright. Let's try having some bulls. There we go. Whoa. Hmm. If it's just him, I can take him. Unless, like, five or six of those not so spellcasty ones suddenly come out of nowhere. Ah. <sighs> Huzzah. This. This place is starting to look really nasty. Like, it was pretty nasty before, but. I don't know, it's... Try ranged battle. I did that already, didn't I? Yes. Alright. There's a couple of things over here, so I'm going to assume that there's something. <sighs> yep, another one of those jackasses. God damn it. This is my problem with the community. I don't have a lot of problems with the community. That's definitely one of them. Just, just hate the people that are all like, Ugh. when all I want, all I need, is treasure and souls, and you being a jackass by putting your soul sign right up against a wall and saying, "Ah, oh, there's treasure here." That makes you a jackass. All right. So let's stop berating the uh, community of Dark Souls, because I'm pretty sure that's going to get me all the views. Oh, jeez, these guys drop large Titanite chunks? The hell? Where the hell am I going? Please let this be some sort of... Try jumping. Oh. Eh, why not? Lovely. So what does this say? This say try range battle? Yes it does. Alright. I want to get that charger chest. Probably gonna end up spending the last of this video trying to get that charger chest. Then again I also spent most of this video doing nothing but luring out these corrupted Ulysseal people to stab them in the face as opposed to, you know, getting hoarded by them and being all, Oh god, they're murdering and biting my face off! Well, I guess with how they look, they're less biting your face off and more just ripping you to shreds. Or with their giant huggy arms. Alright, so theory should work just fine. Watch this thing be not worth the hassle in the slightest. What is going on? It's like I'm hitting the side of the plank like it's a goddamn wall and falling straight down because of it. It's bull. Stop your maniacal laughing. Where the hell did you come from? Ah well, free souls. Okay, maybe it's that I gotta have a lighter load. That's actually a thing, as far as I've re realized. Is that if you have a lighter load, you'll have better jumping, better running. Huh. 
I'm not gonna say that that's what it was, but considering I just took off the boar's helmet and the steel armor, I'm gonna say that's what it was. All right, I don't trust you still. Red Titan. Okay, maybe it was worth it, because red titanite chunks are what you need for uh, leveling up weapons that are made for fire and chaos. Chaos apparently being a better form of fire. Oh, hey! I just realized I looked up at my humanity counter and I apparently have two soft humanity. Which is the name for when you have humanity but you don't have, but you're not in quote unquote human form. Ah, this entire place is going to make me feel like I'm going to fall, isn't it? What's through here? Okay, there's a bunch of sorcerers that way. Let's try this way first. And this is a shortcut. As I am coming to the end of this video, I wholeheartedly approve of this shortcut. Holy crap. This is awesome. I approve. That being said, though, I'm going to go ahead and hit the bonfire, probably... Uh, Kindle it. Like reverse hollow. Kindle it. And call it an episode. Because I can already feel the bad stuff coming on. Yeah. Ah, that makes me feel better. Alright. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.